10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Backpacking Tents Starting at number 10. Alvanter Camping Tent. It is a backpacking tent suitable for two people and is built for hiking and camping. Carrying a hefty only 3. 6 pounds, this is compact as well as convenient to bring along. There will be various separate kinds to pick from, standard or wide. This shelter's lightweight nature helps it be portable as well as simple to handle. The shelter is indeed simple to install as well as pull down, taking only a few moments for every operation. Sadly, the shelter isn't water resistant. So whenever you are stuck traveling in rainy conditions, the shelter is going to drip as well as you are just going to struggle soaked. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At Number 9. River Country Products Trekker Tent. This hyper hiking and camping shelter is built for one individual with a piece of equipment as well as two individuals without equipment. This matches into every suitcase entirely and may be utilized with hiking stakes or points broader than 43 inches. The shelter is tall of 8 feet tall as well as 43 inches high. This weighs 2. 13 pounds and contains a pole as well as a packing container. The shelter is constructed from vital, excellent components. This is smaller than the regular pop-up shelter, but it's simple to install or contrast. Its rainfly has a significant function of holding the liquid out, as well as the underside of the cover, seems dense as well as of high nature. Number 8 of my list. Bestport Camping Tent. This compact hiking and camping shelter may fit single or multiple two individuals, based on the type you pick. This is made with a stain, micro-mesh material, which is windproof as well as reduces condensation. The shelter weighs 5. 3 pounds and seems to be 86. 7 to 48. 5 to 43. 6 inches. The inside is 32 square feet. This arises with a full covered rainfly as well as three pillars, which help you organize the camp in three minutes. Because it's self-contained as well as compact, you might push it quickly as well as it's unnecessary to disassemble it. Its fabric helps you enjoy your surroundings while you are just staying in the shelter, as well as ventilation openings to airflow. Coming at number 7. Teton Sports Mountain. The greatest thing about traveling is to spend time with friends as well as enjoy the scenery. As challenging as it might be to have an open-air tent, which brings you a peaceful atmosphere close to when you are at home, this Teton shelter brings you all warmth you want to have during your journey. This ultra shelter is as water resistant as other shelters will be so that you don't need to care about the climate. Regardless of which climate conditions would occur, such as raining, winding, or snowing, you're well covered. Is it concerned about its sturdiness? Don't worry, since it's built to deliver long-lasting results. Next, the exterior fabric is robust well as, therefore, is not harmed by environmental conditions. At Number 6. Coleman Hooligan Backpacking Tent. This hiking and camping shelter for four people is too lightweight to take during the trip. This is big, so that everybody could rest in there with space for several picnic mats. Its waterfly feature makes the shelter weatherproof as well as establishes a hallway at just the opening to the shelter. The whole shelter is extremely simple to install. Just around 13 minutes, you might finish setting up as well as getting it down. The tent has some snag-free wraps, which you place into the pillars to render the assembly more straightforward. You're going to have more than enough airflow, as well. The whole tent consists of nylon just below its rainfly feature. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Big Agnes Tiger Wall Ultra. In the battle of the ultralight semi-freestanding tents, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 is our favorite due to the size of the floor area, headspace, and gear storage options. Going ultra lightweight doesn't necessarily mean being crammed in like a sardine. At 28 square feet of sleeping area and 16 square feet of storage space, the Tiger Wall beats out its nearest rival the Hornet by a few square feet. While this doesn't sound like much, a 6% increase in space in an ultralight tent can really make the difference in terms of comfort. 
At 2 pounds and 8 ounces, it is one of the lighter tents we reviewed, only bested by this Bax Duplex and the Nemo Hornet in our review. Like most ultralight shelters, the low packaged weight does mean thinner, less durable materials used. The designers also went a little overboard on shaving weight from the fly as there is only a little overlap between the fly and the bathtub floor. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Nemo Dagger Ultralight. The Nemo Dagger is a freestanding tent that offers the most livable space of any of the two-person tents on our list with the exception of the Heavy Ray Half Dome. With a floor area 31. 3 square meters, steep walls, and a peak height of 42 this is one of the best backpacking tents for interior space, feeling larger than its nearest competitors the MSR Hubba Hubba, C to Summit Telos and the Big Agnes Copper Spur. The only model that is larger in our review is the Half Dome SL2, although, this also weighs nearly a pound more. The downside to the larger interior space is, of course, total packaged weight. While roomier than its nearest competitors the Dagger is 4 ounces heavier than the Telos and 12 ounces heavier than the Copper Spur. At Number 3. Nemo Hornet Ultralight. The Nemo Hornet is a lightweight backpacking tent in the sub-3 pound category that still provides decent headspace thanks to two ridge poles that create near vertical walls. At 2 pounds and 6 ounces, the Hornet is the lightest of the semi-freestanding tents on our list, and still manages to create a small, but livable sleeping area thanks to the use of two ridge poles to maximize headspace. One of the cooler and more thoughtful features we've seen was the use of mixed color mesh. This gives the sidewalls a modicum of privacy, while using black-colored mesh in the ceiling to give less obstructed views of the stars. While you can fit two regular-sized rectangular sleeping pads in, the Hornet can feel a little cramped for two. The floor tapers towards the feet thus removing the possibility of sleeping top to tail with your partner, so broad-shouldered gents could quickly become very cozy. Coming at number 2. MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 Person. The MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 is another popular two-person backpacking tent in the running for our top prize due to its great ventilation and livability. What sets it apart compared to its nearest competitors, the Telos, Hornet and the Copper Spur HVUL2 is the use of stronger, more durable fabrics on the rain fly and bathtub floor. The Hubba Hubba is a freestanding two-person model with 29 sq feet of floor space and a peak height of 39. The eastern cyclone poles are held in place with a hub design, and the use of a cross pole helps pull mesh outwards for more headspace which gives the tent a roomier feel. The overall internal space feels similar to the Copper Spur, but feels a bit smaller compared to the taller Telos and the larger Nemo Hornet. Of all the low-weight two-person backpacking tents, the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 uses the strongest fabrics. Using a 20D ripstop nylon fly with poo silicone coating and a 30D ripstop nylon bathtub floor means it can take a bit more of a bruising than the Telos, Copper Spur or Dag. And Number 1. Big Agnes Copper Spur HVL. The Copper Spur HVUL2 is one of the most popular tents for backpacking on the market, and it's not hard to see why. It lies in that sweet spot between livability, weather protection, and low weight, making it perfect for any adventurer who wants a little more comfort while out on their trip with 29 square feet of sleeping space and a 39 peak height, it is comparable to its closest rivals the Sea to Summit Telos and the MSR Hubba Hubba. However, it ups the ante by the fact that it weighs only 3 pounds and 2 ounces. This makes it almost 9 ounces lighter than the Telos and 12 ounces lighter than the Hubba Hubba. With two door vestibules, each with 9 square feet of space, an oversized ceiling pocket, and several other interior pockets and gear loops, there's plenty of room to store your gear. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel. Share this video and hit the like button.